Hi guys, it's Chris calling. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in the world, hi son, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys have returned since my last video, thank you very much. And if you guys are new here, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. In today's video, we are continuing on our Eurovision 2024 journey. Of course, this year's Eurovision Song Contest 2024 will be taking place in the city of Malmö, Sweden on the 7th, 9th and 11th of May. And the next country to announce their song and singer for this year's contest is Norway. Of course, it is Super Saturday in Eurovision world. We have a lot of national finals taking place today. And one of them was the Melody Grand Prix, which of course is Norway's national final for Eurovision. In the final voting, it was head to head with Kaino and Gotte. But the winner in the end was Gotte with their song Unverhelm. Of course, at last year's Eurovision Song Contest in Liverpool, Norway was represented by the amazing Alessandra with her song Queen of Kings. She came fifth place in the Grand final with 268 points overall so I can't wait to see what Norway is bringing to this year's contest in Malmö. So we're not going to waste any more time at all and we're going to dive straight in. Here is Gotte's performance with their song Unverhelm. Let's go! Beautiful voice. I love how this slowly builds up to the chorus. It's so atmospheric. I love that strobe light over her in the middle. It's just beautiful. Incredible staging. Wow. This is just another level. It's so atmospheric. It's euphoric. And it's really, it feels really traditional and cultural to Norway as well, which I love. Wow, amazing camera direction, stage directions, the way she connects with the camera. It's incredible. I've got goosebumps, guys. This is crazy. I love it. I absolutely love this. Jeez. It's just so well thought out, the staging. Okay, guys, there we have it. That was Norway's representative for this year's Eurovision Song Contest and the winner of Melody Grand Prix 2024. Got there with Unverhelm, and apologies in advance if I said that wrong. But oh my word, what a performance, what a winner. I am so happy that they've won. It was a real tough competition. I thought Melody Grand Prix this year was had so many amazing participants and a wide variety of music genres. But this song, Unverhelm, was one that really did stand out. And it slowly in the semi-finals and towards the grand final, it was clear that this was a real favourite. And I wasn't 100% sure whether this was going to win or not. 
but it did and I'm so happy it did. I wish got there all the very best for Eurovision 2024 because it's ready to go. This staging is absolutely beautiful. It's atmospheric. I love the way throughout the song they kind of switch to almost like landscapes of Norway. It just really gets you in the mood for the song. I love the way the song builds up to the chorus slowly and it's like it's like a slow burner up to that chorus and then it just hits. And it goes without saying, the lead singer of Gothe has an absolutely incredible voice. The way that she conveys that chorus and just absolutely belts her heart out, but at the same time is completely in tune and hits every single note throughout the song. It is absolutely incredible. It's gonna be a moment this May in Malmö. The Norwegian broadcaster NRK is gonna have so much at their disposal uh, this May in Malmö with the staging. They're gonna be able to elevate this. I, again, I don't think it needs much elevation from this amazing MGP performance, but they're gonna be able to make this more impactful and it is going to be more impactful on that Eurovision stage you know it is and it I think it's just the only way is up for this song without a shadow of doubt this is going to the grand final this May in Malmö I think the juries are gonna absolutely love this I think that they're really gonna respect the way the lead singer of the band stays in tune but is really selling the performance and not only that all the movements that she does, she really draws you in as you were watching the performance. She is drawing her audience in and they're drawing the camera, people watching on TV as well. It's going to be so impactful. And like I say, there's not an awful lot they need to change for their Eurovision performance. The main thing that I loved is the lead singer was the centerpiece of the performance. And then they had that big strobe light surrounding her. Just very simple but effective staging and you had all of the other band members playing the instruments on the outside and they, of course, are all playing their part as well, um, a part of that Gote group. Honestly, this is such an impactful performance and I think it is certainly going to be something different and refreshing at this year's Eurovision Song Contest. I absolutely love the fact that Norway has gone for something that is kind of closer to their roots as well. This feels more cultural and more traditional for Norway to be sending at Eurovision and I absolutely love that. Not to say all of the previous acts that Norway has sent haven't been as good. Norway always sends amazing songs to Eurovision but I feel like this song Unverhelm has an edge and yeah I, I just there's so much that I loved about this performance. The staging, the voice, and the look as well, the costume choices and the lighting. And like I say, this is just the national final. Just think of what they can do at Eurovision with the, the lighting and the staging. It's just gonna be, it, it, they're gonna take us to another world. I feel like it's gonna be a similar kind of feel to Lorene's performance of Tattoo. When we watch it, it's not gonna feel like a Eurovision performance. It's gonna feel like a film. Um, that is the kind of quality that I'm looking at with this performance. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I think it was neck and neck between Kaino and Gotte, but I'm really glad that Gotte are representing Norway this year. I really, really love Kaino, but I'm glad that Norway is sending something different this year. Um, again, I love it when countries send something different for the Eurovision Song Contest, just to see how things go in the results. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see how this goes for them at this year's contest. Overall, I thought this was an absolutely incredible performance. Congratulations to Gotte with their song Umberhelm. And good luck for this year's Eurovision Song Contest. You guys are going to smash it. And that's what I thought. But I want to know what you guys think. What do you think of tonight's Melody Grand Prix winners, Gotte, with this song Umberhelm? What do you think Norway's chances are at this year's Eurovision Song Contest 2024? And which other countries are you most looking forward to revealing their song and singer? for this year's Eurovision Song Contest? Let me know in the comments below. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos coming really soon. And I will really look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye guys.